There we got quite a nice stream of water coming out of there. That's half water and half oil. I'm going to call that drained inside this bung here there was like two roller bearings I don't know if it uh, is recent or some other disaster struck years ago It's loose. It wasn't tight at all. No, I see that. bung must be the differential and then that second bun's got to be the transmission case separate drains but they both got uh, some pretty thick oil in there it's as bad as tar I think we can let it drain that schmoo there's not much left in there. There is some, uh, I don't know, either metal chunks or dirt or something, but rust. Feels like uh, metal chunks. So there's some damage is happening in there, maybe before they shut it down for the last time or forever. I don't know, who knows how old those are because I'm sure they haven't changed the oil on this thing. OK, 
Okay, the final uh, oil is the crankcase oil, and it's got water dripping out of it. But oil right away, and that looks and feels like engine oil. That's empty, at least it had oil in it. Maybe if I give it a little wheels or front wheels are turning, are we all right? Probably not. Okay, slowly down, Phil. I'm going to go to the other side, just line up the front wheel. Come on, Phil. I'll have to count. I'll have to pull.
we're going to take these plugs out. So far, that number one is uh, not even tight. This one's loose as well. So I'm thinking somebody's been in here before me to put uh, diesel fuel or something in on the top of these pistons. Number three is the tightest one so far. Oh, and it is solid rusty. Number two is uh, plugged up, but it's uh, not, a, not as rusty. The very first one is in better shape. Not rusty, but still bad. Plugged up and uh, pretty rusty, but these are all loose. Wish I had an air gun. Little bit of field dirt left in here. Anyway, we're going to get lined up with a funnel and some uh, diesel fuel. Pour that in there and see where it pours out. All four are full. All four are full, right up to these little cavities in the head. And so far, none of them are going down. So we'll just let them sit a few minutes. Hopefully they'll soak up and go down somewhat and put the plugs back in place. And we'll call her good, let the things soak for a little bit. Kind of curious, I'd want to take that uh, valve cover off. Pretty easy to take this off, I think. Hopefully these aren't rusted too bad. I don't have the proper wrench here, but uh, we gotta make what works work. And again, I wish I had a compressor, but uh, we're gonna tow this up to the yard sometime today or tomorrow. Now, just before I put this uh, cover back on, I'll blow that dirt out of there. But these are still, uh, they're not rusted. Like they're still got a layer of uh, some sort of oil on there. These little trays here are oiling uh, trays. There's a tray there, you drop the oil in through the little oil caps and it all goes down into there, into the little oiler holes on the rocker arms. Kind of interesting. But anyway, I'm going to uh, just pour a little diesel fuel over everything and, and uh, put the lid back on just loosely and I'll have to clean that dirt off. Those trays are just uh, spreads the uh, oil from front to back and covers everything. It's kind of a good little deal.
quite surprised how well it looks. Inside of the uh, cover is not rusted at all. It's got a thin layer. It almost looks like it's spread with some sort of a tar or something like that to keep it from rusting. Anyway, that's, that's some good results right there. While we're looking into things, I loosened off these cover covers for the uh, side of the block, and uh, those are really not. Can't really see too much without a proper light, but uh, from what I can see in there, everything is uh, nice and fresh looking. It's kind of amazing. Just going to start pouring in some diesel fuel from the other side and see if it comes out of these tattletale holes at all. Hey, we got it coming out the bottom. There we got it coming out of the top as well and I run out of diesel fuel, so better. At least I got the engine filled with the, uh, and coming out this one. I don't understand the three of them, but there's three. I'm gonna see if I can get the uh, hood sitting on there. Well, it's sitting in place. It needs to have a little work done to it, straighten it out, that's for sure. These louvers have been kind of bent and whatnot, but I think with a little uh, tapping with the hammer, we should be able to bring that around in shape.
me and Phil got this thing pulled up here yesterday, used the case, pulled this uh, little 1530 up into place. It's going to sit here for the next few months. But the last thing I got to check out on it is the uh, uh, coolant, see if the system will hold water. So I've got my uh, garden hose here handy. I found the drain bung down here and it's uh, threaded, it takes a plug, but I didn't have the plug, so I had this old toothbrush. I just jammed that up in there. Hopefully that's gonna hold. So we will get the uh, hand ahead of time. I went in here and I used the vacuum and sucked this thing clean. So far, so good. There's not draining any water down there or anywhere else. Well, well, we got some water coming down here from the crank area. Dripping out of there a bit and out of my toothbrush too, but. We'll see what happens. We'll get her filled right up. This lower hose is starting to leak like a sieve, but that's a fixable problem. Maybe that's where all my water is coming from in the first place. We won't know until we start patching things up. Okay, we got, uh, these spark plugs are out and as it's filling up with water, I got uh, water going into the spark plug holes, displacing that diesel fuel so we obviously got a cracked head or something going on in there okay well that's gonna be it for the end of this video we got the uh, 1530 parked up here in the yard we've got uh, things soaking to get the rust broken down and uh, drained all the wells and so on and so forth I think I've established by filling up the radiator that uh, if I'm lucky it's just the gasket is uh, not work or not good, but worst case scenario, which I'm just going to go with, the head is cracked, so it's allowing water to go into the pistons, and it flooded out the diesel fuel I put into the pistons, pushed that out through the spark plug holes. So I think there's uh, some bit of problems here with this engine, but uh, we're just going to let her soak for now and uh, come back to her later. But that's all we got for today, and uh, we'll uh, catch up to you later. Bye for now.